Gay marriage. Gay marriage. That's been happening, isn't it? Well, they're allowed to get married now, aren't they? Gay men and women. That's, uh, is it? You're looking at me like a <laughs> up my head. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a weird way you said it there. You said gays can get married now, men and women. I, got, I felt pressured to expand, but when I said gay marriage, I think that pretty much sums it up in two words. <laughs> Everyone looks at me and I thought, well, I'm going to have to add a bit more info. I'm going to have to press... <laughs> I felt like I was pressing I on the sky control. <laughs> Necessarily, because if I see a program that says gay marriage, I think, hello, gay marriage. <laughs> what do you mean by gay marriage? Basically, it's when gay men and women <laughs> get married to each other. So yeah. the gay women, men marry the women. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it became oh, this oh. massive thing, and now it's just kind of happened, and mm. no one can really understand what the fuss was about. But there was um, various people saying that it was going to be floods, didn't there? Yes. One of the UKIP, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> he said that there will be biblical flooding if there's gay marriage. And mm. if you think about it, we've just had a fantastic summer mm. and a very balmy autumn. So I'd just like to say to all the gay and lesbian people out there, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> yeah. I wore yeah. shorts on Halloween. <laughs> Enjoy it. So thanks for the love. Thanks for the lovely weather. It would, it would be brilliant if that was true, though, wouldn't it? If that actually worked. If, like, gay people having sex caused it to rain. <laughs> because if it was a really hot summer and it was, like, a hosepipe ban, my garden was, like, struggling. <laughs> like, cos my mate's gay. I, I could be like, you don't mind giving him one, dear? My gypsophenia's <laughs> a <fallen." laughs> Are you against it, Christian? Were you against it from the start? Gay marriage? Yeah. No, I've been very pro it. Always. <laughs> I was just trying to catch um, you out. Yeah. You go, yes, it's an abomination. We used to have to do these debates on the news mm. between people who felt very strongly uh, for it and against it, and it was just like, it's just marriage. It's probably a mistake, whatever you're Could doing. You so, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, you can't express an opinion one way or the other, you just have to host the debates. Yes, between I the... Try, and, try and stay as neutral as possible. Do you ever try and show it in your eyes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try and just show us that you approve of gay marriage just in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Is it not difficult if you've got someone on who's talking nonsense about saying that's going to flood, it's awful, and and you're trying, you have, obviously have to have like a proper debate with him, but aren't you just thinking, oh, f off, mate? <laughs> you just you just ask um, increasingly yeah, aggressive yeah. questions until they <laughs> yeah, until you get an answer. <laughs> what do you f***ing say? <laughs> you know how how gay men have uh, you know they have a gay dar. They can spot again other gay man, you know, by certain I, things. I think a lot of us have got gay. Do you dogs, think yeah. they also have a straight dar that they can spot straight men? They go, he's straight, you know, like you know, he bought some jeans, didn't try them on, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't look. laughs> Literally, my first thought there was, what kind of an idiot would buy jeans without trying them on? <laughs> the same There's sizes. so many different cuts. They're the same size as the ones you just threw in the bin. <laughs> But I, um, I think that, yeah, obviously a big step towards equality, gay marriage, but the real, real, the real sign of true equality is when there's arranged gay marriages. <laughs> <laughs> you find out you're marrying Terry from Leicester. Um... <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't think, even if I was gay, I think I'd struggle to have a gay wedding, just because some of my family members, like the older ones, are not as open-minded. So I mean, if I was in that gay marriage at the front, you know, when they say, any reason why they should not be wed? Like my old uncle, like, they're two geezers! <laughs> oh, that's allowed now, uncle. <laughs> Chill out. Are you referencing a specific uncle, though? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to tell his name. <laughs> what is his name, though? Uh, Mohammed. My uncle Mohammed. <laughs> <laughs> There were some leaked photos uh, on, on the internet. Stolen. Yes. Yeah. Stolen photographs, actually. The trouble is with this, Nudity in women is used to sell things. It's on advertising, it's used to make pop stars sexy, and I realise how you can solve it is by all women being naked all of the time. Okay. Hear me out. You have okay. my attention. No, hear me out. So, first of all, yes, they can't use... Um, steal women's nudity as a currency. Yeah. People can't go, oh, Sorry. Jennifer Lawrence, why does she even have naked photographs done? So, cos we're all naked all the time, that's just a photograph. And then the other thing that happens is that um, straight men can't handle it and they just start ejaculating all over the place and frothing at the mouth. They can't leave the house, they can't go to work, and then women and gay men rule the world. I, I love this idea. <laughs> I sense for very different reasons to you. Um, Apple is still saying that the iCloud wasn't hacked, so we still don't know how they got these photographs. I think they do know how they leaked the photos now. I think how, it was, how do they have? It was, a, it was a phishing email that they sent to the, uh, the actresses in question, saying, oh, you're... Kim iCloud. Kardashian don't go fishing? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's going to 
that? <laughs> Always delete ones you don't know it's from. And if I'm Kim Kardashian, I see, oh, do you want to go carp fishing? <laughs> <laughs> Why? If, you, if you're taking a photograph like that, would you put it on a cloud? It saves everything. It even saves no, stuff that you deleted. It doesn't save mine. Y but yeah, it, it does. With a no. setting. No. <laughs> Seriously, Carol. <laughs> I mean, I just think, why would you take a picture of yourself naked? Is there something a bit weird about finding yourself sexy? <laughs> Is it like going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, if only I was someone else, I'd bloody do me now. <laughs> I'd give myself a right... <laughs> There's something... There's something weird game. about you doing it. Yeah. <laughs> It might not be deliberate as well, though. I mean, like, my kids are at the age where they think the funniest thing in the world is to come into the bathroom when I'm in the shower and take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not the naked pictures that worry me, though. It's, it's everything on your phone. So when my accountant says, can you send me a copy of your P60, and I take a picture of it and email it to him, that picture is also on the iCloud and is completely hackable. Yeah, well. that's going to be a challenging wank. <laughs> <laughs> Judge people by their looks, yes or no? Depends what they look like, innit? <laughs> uh, Carol, what do, what do you rate people on their looks? I think we all do, don't we? Really? I mean, look at you. I'm up here, Carol. <laughs> no, she's wondering where the wedding cake is, Jimmy. <laughs> Are you saying that I look like a wedding cake decoration? You look like a wedding cake decoration. <laughs> <laughs> it's our little joke. Doing What's your guilty pleasure, Christian? My guilty pleasure is probably ringing the BBC viewers' calls line during BBC News and saying, you're <laughs> John, what do you think? Well, people don't feel guilty enough, do they? Let's be honest. If people felt less guilty about the they like, then stuff would be better. But most people's take like X Factor is popular, and music is shit, and food we eat is shit, and we don't feel guilty about it anymore, do we? Oh, oh mm. okay. Okay, do you I mean, <laughs> put your hands in the air. <laughs> John's rapping. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? I think pleasure? it's when you're sitting on the toilet and you know you've got the toilet roll and it's got one bit is slightly lower than the other bit, mm. you know, because it's two ply. Someone's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> what you're meant to do is take the top bit over like that. Do you do this at home? And then you get it, and then they all measure up and you rip that bit off. No, but then you get out of sync. No, because... no. Why are you in the sink? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you said about your wife splitting up with you after two weeks. I think no. you might have uh, moved oh, a bit no, closer. She won't, she won't see this. She's got school in the morning. <laughs> She's a teacher. <laughs> As if a teacher would go out with you. She's um, a teacher. She's and she's got a master's. <laughs> there's, there's a man that knows he's punching above his weight. Definitely. Well played. <laughs> um, the, any other thoughts? Watching Jeremy Kyle. Oh, well, you're very close with that. Um, the, Shit um, TV. Is it, yeah, reality it is, TV or something? It is reality TV. Oh. That's the right answer. Yeah.